Hey, what is going on, adventure lovers? And welcome back to the sequel to the Grand BS Adventure. Okay. It was the beer bottle that slob of a watchman had dumped in the sea, now half full of filthy dock water. Okay. I'd better think this through. Can we do this? No. Let's check up here again. I couldn't reach. Okay. Anything close to us? Ah, the I coat. Reach the coat. I didn't quite see that last time. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Interesting. The door? No. We should be able to reach something. That isn't it at all. Damn. I what if we talk to him? Hello. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't seem to do much. Hmm, okay. So if we could distract the guard, we could potentially climb up. Okay. The chimney was a metal pipe with a conical <clears> hat <throat> to stop the rain getting in. What if we... Ah, put water in. That might help cool it off. The bottle was half filled with water. Yeah, good thinking, George. Maybe it would cool the cone down enough to touch it. Still too hot? Nice. Now I could see into the pipe which formed the chimney. That chimney looked very exposed without its cone. The chimney was a metal pipe which disappeared into the water. Ah, so if we mess up his cooking, pour water in? Hmm. The bottle had blocked the chimney. Excellent. The hot was oh, yo, and that's not good. Okay, not entirely sure we want to go in there if it's full of smoke, but you got to do what you got to do. Okay, hopefully the dog won't care. Great, get the dog food. The packet was full of dog biscuits. We got time to grab anything else. The box contained nothing but blank forms. Okay. I wouldn't have considered wearing it if it had been the last coat on earth. We'll take some coal. Someone had once told me a piece of coal <laughs> brought you luck. And this will be Who's too hot to touch, right? Superstition? That guy's got to be coming in, though. Georgie Tent. Stove equals heat, heat equals burn, burn equals excruciating pain. Okay, what about a pan? But the door's open, can that guy not see us? Baked beans in ketchup. Ew. Okay, what if... It was my lucky piece of coal. Can we put it in? That wouldn't work. That mug was a health risk. I decided to leave it where it was. Okay, anything else we can do here? Try panties on the stove, you never know. That was no good. And Bockle gone. Okay, let's leave. Okay. I guess if you mess that up, he throws another beer bottle out. Can 
me tempt the dog. Hey, 20. Come and get it, boy. Ah. Lucky we figured out the trick earlier. I felt a slight twinge of conscience as I prepared to give the dog. Yeah, this is surely how we can shut that dog up. Take that, pup. Oh. oh. I was gonna say, is it alive? As I'd expected, the dog could swim like a well, like a dog. Perfect. Let's get a little safety save on. Oh, you pissed off. Nice. Cheers, dog. Okay, goodbye, zero percent. Hello, twenty-four percent. Right guys, what's this? Episode 3 and we're a quarter of the way through. Excellent progression. So what, now we just climb over? Padlock. Breaking steel padlocks with my bare hands was a feat I'd never <laughs> mastered. Damn, that would have been sweet. Can we pick it? I decided I would not be able to pick a five-barrel hardened steel <laughs> yeah. with a dart. Logic sets in. Right, climbing it is. Excellent. What do we do now? Ah, it's all cutscene. Cool. Okay, may as well save here. Yo, extra 1%, go on. Okay, can't go back by the looks of it. A sturdy chain and padlock hung around the door handles. <clears throat> What's this? A wheel. I couldn't reach the wheel and couldn't see any point in climbing up to it. It was a beautiful piece of 19th century engineering, <laughs> but not a lot of use to me. What about panties? No, not a sign. Okay. The sign looked as if it was firmly attached to the wall. Anyway, I didn't really want it as a souvenir. It read Pont de Nord. Fine wine producers. I didn't recognize the label. Ah, a wine warehouse. Oh, but these, these aren't the guys we're looking for. It's these guys. This sign also looked firmly attached to the wall. It read Condor Trans Global. Yeah, I thought so. Place. Now all I had to do was get inside. Well, we'll try the door. Oh, don't knock. That ain't good. The din must have drowned out the sound of my knocking. Okay. Ladder it is. Maybe there was a way in up there. Just get up there, will you? Okay, got a fan in the window. The metal housing prevented me from getting to the fan. Okay. Oh, is it? Ah, uh, it is. Good. I wouldn't have been hurt over the din of the fan. Okay, what if we... Maybe this? That did the trick. The fan clunked and shorted out. Sweet. The blades were mashed by the boat hook. Okay, no getting that back, I'll take it. Hey, you make any more noise, I break your arms. That bully needed to be taught a lesson. Garzak's already mad because we didn't get to well, Just as well we didn't shower you this guy. I completely forgot who that was. It's his giant bodyguard, or whatever the that situation is. Karzak or Ballsack. I decided there was a better way to attract their attention. 
Okay. What we got? I decided there was a better way to attract their attention. Uh, boxes. No, I had to think of something else. The room was filled with transglobal crates. The guy was partly hidden behind a stack of crates. Okay. It was the creep who'd kidnapped Nico. And I had a score to settle. Jerks, why have you still got dog food? Uh, does he like pants? I decided there was a better way to attract their attention. Okay. Throw this. I decided there was a better way to attract their attention. Ah, maybe we can knock on the door now. Ah, window number two. The window was jammed shut. All right, good to know. The clamp consisted of two metal jaws, which would close when weight was applied to them. Okay. Ah, gotcha. Okay, still not sure why we'd need that. A fine old oak barrel. Cool. Yeah, let's give him a knock, see what happens. Okay, little slide. Sweet, delicious grill. The grill opened from the inside. Oh, yo. Suddenly got very dramatic. He won't like pizza. I don't think he'll like us. Not entirely sure who that's meant to be. Let's try this. Is this Condor Trans Global? <laughs> Nobody here. Go away. I'll give you five seconds to let oh, me yeah. in or I'll bust down the door. Okay. I'm coming. Oh, yeah. Do we use the barrel on him? Sound too happy. Come on, George, quickly. Yeah, I don't think we can beat that guy if we don't have the barrel. Do we have to make a noise? Let's see. Ah, it worked. Yeah, I got a feeling he was just going to go back in. Quickly, George. <laughs> this looks very intended. Sweet. Got a strike. Uh, ah, the door's open. No need to use the window. <laughs> nice. I like that a lot. Little victory slide. Go on, Georgie. Okay, still a bit of a slow-paced game, but so far potentially better than the original. Oh, yeah, lock the door. Good spot. The only interesting thing I found was a small brass key. Hey, nice. Let's check that immediately. There was a small brass key. Oh, okay. Among the paperwork which adorned the notice board was something which... Ah, a clue. It was a delivery note from Condor Transglobal. And the address was Claromonte City. Right. There was a notice board beside the desk with an assortment of paperwork on it. Whoa! Uh -oh. Don't shoot! The little guy had a blowpipe. That confirmed my suspicions about what had happened to Nico. I waited for him to shoot me, but it didn't happen. Instead, okay. he seemed to want to tell me something. Slightly friendly. What? 
what do you want? Uh, Is he hungry? Uh, he seemed excited, almost desperate. What did he want so bad? Ah, he's a panties lover. Hi, uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Guaramonte. Is that where you're from? Guaramonte City? Uh, yo, did he get kidnapped? Guaramonte. Okay, okay. I didn't think he'd be interested. Okay, he doesn't like pants. What about dog food? Tell me what you've done with Nico, and I'll share these biscuits with you. I knew it sounded lame, trying to bargain with a box of doggy snacks. Besides, Damn. how was he to know how yummy they tasted? Yeah, life's greatest mystery. Do you know what this is? Peito. What? Lotse capaito. Inyakotla goino moto. Hmm. Okay, some sort of reaction there. What have you done with my girlfriend? Huh? I am not leaving without her. Where is she? He didn't appear I think you're screaming at the wrong guy there, George. What about a key? What does this key unlock? Huh? What? Ah, he likes the key. Hey, you're manacled. Who did this? Ah, is it a key for that? Set you free, okay? I thought it may have been the dart that triggered hey, the next step. Damn, he's gone forever. Typical. Okay. Well, yeah, friendly little chap. What we got here? Button. Better press it. Okay, trust of a mystery lift. Time to get nervous, I think. Oh, sweet. Just in time. What's he up to? Interrupting the beam of light kept the doors from closing and stopped anyone from using the elevator. But what now? Okay. It was a device to prevent the elevator doors closing when they were obstructed. Um, the worm. The worm may have been slimy, but it wasn't sticky. Damn. What's sticky? Uh, ah, sticker. The label just wasn't sticky enough to stay in place. <laughs> um, combine it with the worm? No, that's wrong. Okay, cheers for that, George. Um, maybe this? I don't think so. Ah, the box. Go on, George, quicker than that. There. That would keep the doors from closing. Sweet. I was wrestling with the we'll see how to. when I noticed the label on its side. Danger. Live contents. Oh, do not yeah. Drop. Yeah, careful of that, George. The statue looked way too heavy for me to move. A uh, pallet carrier. Sounds helpful. There wasn't enough room to move the handle. Okay. The crate was labeled danger live contents do not drop there were small holes in the top and sides and scratchy noises coming from inside yo it's creatures what it was a large crate with no label cool what else we got a window there was no way to open that window great a sturdy beam was jammed across the doors. Okay, the very doors sturdy. Going to open. Pulley. Let's go. There wasn't much I could do with a pulley that didn't have any rope. Ah, panties. Damn. Uh, not quite a rope. The short chain stopped the cuffs reaching from the statue to the winch. What if we do the other way? 
The short chain stopped the cuffs reaching from the statue to the winch. Um... It was a pulley attached to a long rail which ran the length of the building. It wasn't much use though. No rope. Okay, we need rope. It was a hydraulic hand cart. The statue looked as if it was Central or South American in origin. <laughs> Bottom. <laughs> Nothing happened. That was probably because the elevator was already on this floor. Okay. I decided to leave the electric eye alone. I think we do have to move that crate back, though. Hmm. Well, what's this? Oh, uh, is that right? Damn. Um, it must all be in this room. It doesn't seem like we should be backtracking. You know, just general safety from that big dude. Hmm. Just in case. Thirty-three. Right. Okay. I realize the doors must lead to a loading platform high above the dockside. Let's see, it's a key gone. It was Ubier's bank statement. It was the letter to Nico for sickening. It was the set of manacles I'd removed from the little Indian's ankles. Okay. It was the label I'd found in the Glees gallery. It was my lucky piece of coal. It was the box of biscuits I'd taken from the watchman's hut. Gourmet dog. The snack mm, not getting dog many hints here. Sure. As if I'd let a stupid dog loose in the kitchen. There was a cute picture of a boxer dog wearing oven mittens. Why is this in such extreme detail? It was that itsy bitsy tequila worm. I wasn't convinced that was the right thing to do. Okay. That isn't it at all. Hmm. That isn't it at all. Damn. Okay, no panties on that. No panties on that. Okay. I decided to leave the electric eye alone. Will you move the box? I couldn't move the crate. Okay. What about the cat? It must be an item we haven't picked up yet. Can you just put lipstick over it? Get back there, Georgie. It was the set of ma The short chain stopped the... So how can we make Wrong. the... Chain longer. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Hmm. That isn't it at all. That wouldn't work. Okay. I didn't want to risk dropping the crate and releasing its live contents. Typical. Too heavy. No chance. Whatever those crates contained, they were heavy. Hmm. It was a hydro. There wasn't enough room to move the handle. Let's have a quick sweep. Fully crates. What was that? No, panic carrier. Photoelectric cell. I decided that. to. Is that two different buttons? It is. 
Oh, yo. Secret rope. Now we're talking. Mate, that was so ridiculously hidden. There was an arc-shaped scratch on the floor, as if a door had been opened in the nearby wall. Okay. There was an arc-shaped... I noticed a faint mark on the wooden floor. Sweet. What's this? My fingers traced the outline of a secret door in the wall. Then I found a small round stud, which was mm. set flush to the surrounding wooden paneling. We like that. Just as I'd hoped. Boom. A secret room. Nice. Right. Let's get a safety save on and leave it there. And now... Right, what was that? Just out of curiosity. Still 33. Okay. Boom. Right, guys. A little bit of playing around. And we actually had a mini breakthrough. Um, we'll leave you there for a little cliffhanger. So, just found a secret door. What is inside? We'll, we'll find out in a few days. So guys, if you'd like the looks of any of the suggested videos flooding your screen at this very second, check some of them out, and more importantly, let me know what you thought, because secret door-based feedback is best feedback. Um, of course, if you've missed any of the dog-tricking, or sorry, non-dog-tricking episodes, then catch up. But the main thing, as always, guys, is we didn't actually pick the rope up. Weird. I hope you're well. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon for a little more Grand BS Adventure sequel.